Hey guys, this is Taylor Stratton and welcome back to Stratton Life. Today's video is going to be yet again about James Charles and that is because there is another thing going around with him and we all know that he hits on straight guys and that's the type that he likes and that he makes many people uncomfortable with it like the Dolan twins or that one guy from the vlog squad I think it was. The guy that he had come back to his channel and do his makeup you know, he was hitting on him and he had a whole discussion about it with Nikita Dragon and her video a few weeks ago. We also ago. have very similar taste in guys too. <laughs> Hot. Masculine. Straight. <laughs> we just want what we can't have. So it's no secret that he likes straight guys. As you guys know, there is two guys that have come forward recently with drama between James Charles and them, basically James trying to persuade them that they are gay or bisexual and trying to push that upon them. And that has made people think that James Charles is a predator. Um, Jeffree Star, you know, commented on it. And Tati actually commented on her video by sister. And so two of the guys have recently made videos a few weeks ago about their situation with James Charles. And so I'm going to talk about that. And yeah, so let's get into the video. Also, you know, um, gotta have my wine for this drama. So if you wanna join me, grab your wine, grab your tea, grab your snacks, grab whatever the hell, because we're gonna, you know, find the inside scoop about what James Charles is doing with these guys. Let's go. So in Tati's video by sister, she commented on um, about her and James Charles going to dinner for her birthday party with a bunch of her friends and family and him hitting on a busser. So basically that busser is named Sam Cook. So he was a busser at the restaurant that Tati went to for her birthday party. And James kept, you know, hitting on him, making comments with his friends, asking other employees if he has a Valentine's Day date because it was around Valentine's. So it was a few months ago. He also, you know, was trying to get his phone number, which the wait staff, you know, denied and said that they couldn't give him his he phone number. He especially thought that I was very attractive and he wanted to get my phone number and all that. But the wait staff at my restaurant didn't let that happen. So that was, you know, what James thought was the end of it. They left the restaurant. Everything was good. So Sam said that he didn't, you know, know a lot about James Charles when he saw him come into the restaurant. But he did recognize him. And then that after when he went home, he realized who he was. And his sister kind of persuaded him to go onto Instagram and D DM James Charles. I also am gonna insert a few like text messages between them, um, screenshots that I have that he posted in his video. So, you know, this is basically him messaging James Charles and how James reacted. So then James told him that it was his last night in Seattle and that he wanted to see him and hang out and come to the hotel that he's staying at and, you know, chill. So in James' video with Nikita, he said, said that he wanted to come hang out with him, which is completely different from what Sam said in his video. So there's not really the same story, I guess. But so yeah, in James's video, he said that he got another hotel room that was $1,500 just for this night alone to spend some time with this guy. And so, you know, Sam said that he was, you know, wanting to explore his sexuality because he thought he was bisexual. So he, you know, was like, yeah, I'm down to hang out. And so he went to the hotel. So in James's video, he also said that he forgot that he was on the high priority list or whatever, and that when Sam showed up that he was es escorted to the room by four security guards and that it kind of scared him. 
But in Sam's video, he said that James Charles lied about that and that he was escorted by one concierge, that there was no security guards there to take him up to the hotel room, so. That's another, you know, not match up of their story. I've never done anything with a guy before and I was curious. Later that night, he invited me out to his hotel room. When I got there, in the video, he said I was brought up by four security guards, but in reality, I was brought up by one concierge. In the hotel room, they basically both just said that they watched movies, cuddled, and then James asked Sam to, if, they want, if he wanted him to kiss him. So they made out for around an hour, and Sam, in his video, said that it was the worst kiss ever and that he hated it. And then James Charles said that it was one of the best nights and that he had such a great time. So I'm guessing James obviously thinks he's a good kisser when Sam said he isn't, so. Yikes. And after that movie, he asked to kiss me. And I was very nervous because I had never done anything with a guy and I was bi curious, so I said yes. And we ended up making out for around an hour and if I'm being honest, he's the worst kisser I've ever kissed. Way too much tongue. Yeah. <laughs> After they were done making out for what they both said to be an hour, Sam said that he had to leave and James Charles didn't want him to go, but he ended up leaving anyway. So after Sam left the hotel and James Charles went back to LA, they kept in contact the whole time for a while and in James Charles' video with Nikita, he said that he was actually in New York on a business trip and that they were messaging and that Sam was messaging him saying he missed him and that he wanted to cuddle and they wished that they were in each other's arms and so that's when James invited him up for Sam's birthday weekend to come up to LA to see him and spend time with him. Also keep in mind that I just said that James Charles was in New York doing a business trip when he was still talking to Sam saying he wanted to cuddle with him and all that stuff because I will get more into that at the end of the video because there is a lot more coming towards the end. Well, Sam messaged back saying that he didn't want to lead him on or anything so he thought he would tell him that he knew he was straight now and all that stuff but he had a great time getting to know him and that he was a wonderful person and he had a really good time with him and that he would still love to come up to LA uh, just as friends if James wanted him to. And James basically canceled his flights to LA and you know went to social media which is not surprising for James Charles. So I have a few screenshots of Twitter post as well that James posted. After he took to Twitter, then James messaged Sam back saying that he wasn't straight, that he was either gay or bisexual, and just kept, you know, putting pressure on him to basically say that he was one or the other and trying to make him believe that he wasn't straight at all or that he didn't know his sexuality. And Sam said he was thankful that he took screenshots of the conversation while he did, which I will include at the end of this little clip. Um, because after that, James then went and deleted the messages in the chat. So in the live chat, they're not there anymore. But Sam did take screenshots beforehand. Then after that, <laughs> this is such a long story. <laughs> After that, then uh, James Charles actually messaged Sam saying that he wanted closure. So after they got off the phone, which supposedly gave James Charles closure, James invited him up to LA again to spend time with him. And Sam did decline the offer because he said that he didn't want to, you know, lead James on. Sam didn't want anyone to think that anything was going on between them because he is, you know, like he said, he figured out he was straight. So he just declined the offer and said that they could still be friends, but that was basically the end of their relationship right there. Okay, so now moving on to another guy. 
So this guy named Gage actually got a DM from James Charles at the beginning of this year in January. James Charles was trying to flirt with him the whole time and Gage basically let James Charles know up front that he was straight, that he knew what his sexuality was, and James Charles kept putting, yet again, the pressure on another guy, saying that he wasn't straight, that he might be bisexual or gay, that he basically wanted to get to know him a little bit more because James Charles liked him. James then, uh, James then saw this as an opportunity to manipulate me as a person who may or may not have been trying to figure things out about their sexuality after the fact of telling him that I was straight multiple times. He then started to begin putting a little bit of pressure on me uh, of getting to know me without like disregarding the fact that I told him I was straight because as you all know this person 99.9 .9, maybe even 100% of the time goes after um, heterosexual men. After Gage once again told him that he was straight, that he knew his sexuality, after that they stopped talking for a few weeks. Then they started talking again when James Charles was in New York for a business trip. Do you guys see where I'm going with this? New York is where Gage lives, so James messaged him saying he wanted to hang out with him, he wanted to link up, and when Gage said that he had other things he had to do that he couldn't push to the side for James, James got really mad. And then James blocked him and yet again went to social media. Gage then said James unblocked him and blocked him a few times and then messaged him again, acting like Gage didn't tell him a thousand times that he was straight and James kept putting more and more pressure on him to think that he was bisexual or gay. After that, James Charles then invited him to Coachella, which Gage denied the invite twice. So then James re-blocked him. <laughs> Oh my god. A few weeks after that, James unblocked him and for the third time invited Gage to Coachella. After this, Gage was like, you know what, I do want to go, let's go as friends and hang out. So that's exactly what they did. At Coachella, James, you know, said he wanted to experiment with Gage yet again, trying to persuade him that he was gay or bisexual and just kept saying that he wanted to experiment, that he should experiment, that maybe he likes guys, and you know, tried to get him to go back to a hotel with him. After Gage denied yet again, he said that James guilt tripped him. After that, James Charles yet again blocked him after Gage left, and then posted a tweet about his friends always having his back and that his friends thought that James Charles was just being used by Gage to get clout or followers or whatever they thought Gage wanted from hanging out with James Charles. There were some points where I guess he was not sure how I was feeling, even though I was telling him the whole time I wasn't into, I guess you could say, experimenting at that time. Um, he proceeded to get extremely upset with me because of that and kind of tried to play his emotions and push his emotions onto me to kind of guilt me into trying something um, that I didn't want to do. So after I denied any, like, any of that, he, I guess, went to Twitter again. So my little girl, Hazel, decided she wanted to join us for this video because you're drooling. <laughs> because she did just wake up from her nap and her hair is crazy. But yes, so she will be joining us for the rest of this video, but it's okay. We're almost done. So 
let's get back into the video. So after James Charles yet again went to Twitter to basically say that his friends thought that Gage was using him for clout or whatever he wanted to use him like for followers or for the fame. A lot of James Charles followers or fan base basically found out who Gage was and started putting pieces together and calling out Gage and that's exactly what James Charles didn't want to happen. So then James messaged Gage saying that he was sorry that he took down the posts and the tweets because he didn't mean for his fan base to recognize who he was and that he was sorry. And that was basically the end of James Charles and Gage. So, to end this video with a bang, remember how I told you that James Charles was flirting with Sam when he was in New York for a business trip? And remember I told you that when James Charles was in New York for a business trip, he was hitting up Gage, wanting to hang out with him, to experiment? So, it, at the end of the day, James Charles was talking to Gage and Sam at the same time using both of them, trying to get both of them to think that they were bisexual or gay to get something out of both of them. So once Sam saw Gage's video about James talking to him when he was in New York for the business trip, Sam actually FaceTimed James Charles, which I have a video of from Sam's video, asking about if they were, t if he was talking to them at the same time and James admitted to it. Sure, what's up? Um, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So, I just kind of watched the like Gage thing. Yeah. And it kind of, I kind of, like in all honesty, I think you were talking to him at the same time you were talking to me. Yeah, we were. It's like, why do you care? It's just, I mean, how would you feel if I was talking to and hanging out with someone else while you were talking to me, right? Like, that's... You probably were. I wasn't. So not only did James try to get two people to give him stuff saying that he, that they were, that they weren't straight, that they were gay or bisexual and to try to experiment with him. He was also two-timing them at the same time, which personally, I don't believe in at all. It's one thing to get a person to, you know, not believe in their own sexuality, but it's a whole completely different ball game to use someone. And at the end of the day, if one or both of these guys, you know, ended up being, you know, gay or bisexual and genuinely started to have feelings for James, it would have been so messed up because he was using both of them at the same time. And if they got, if one of them got into a relationship with James Charles, he essentially would have been cheating on that person, which is completely messed up and wrong in so many different aspects. And yeah, so now we basically know I think all the scoop on James Charles, I don't think I'm going to do another video on him because nothing else has arrived. I mean, you know, besides Gabby, you know, Gabriel Zamora doing another like response video to Tati and being mad at her video or whatever is another whole situation, but I don't feel like getting into that at all. But. I think that's it about the James Charles drama for now with him and Tati and these two guys. Hopefully nothing else happens because his career is slowly going downhill. He is up to losing 3 million subscribers in less than 48 hours and Tati I believe, I believe has gained 4 million. I believe. Which is absolutely insane. So... At the end of the day, it is what it is. James Charles messed up big time. I hope James Charles bounces back, realizes that fame and the money isn't everything and having true friends and people and supporters behind you is the one is the only thing that matters, especially since his fan base <laughs> especially since his fan base are 
has always supported him with his palette being sold out many of times and getting him basically where he is today. So his supporters are a huge part of who he is and he needs to realize that and he needs to apologize to everyone that who has supported him and just, you know, take a little break and then come back and better himself and better his career and hopefully people forgive him for everything that he's done and he needs to take responsibility and at the end of the day, hopefully everything works out for him and I wish him the best. Anyways, yet again, I would love to know what you guys think of the whole situation between Sam Gage and James Charles. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification down below so you get notified every time I upload. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Say bye, mamas. Say bye. <laughs>